Hello Libra, welcome to your reading. This will be your, let's just do Leo season reading. July is almost over, so your Leo season reading. Um, I notice my face looks much darker than the rest of me. I'm not wearing any foundation, it's just, just the way I am. But anyways, we're gonna go for your reading now. I'm gonna start with some of the dream oracle cards to see like exactly what situation we're going to be reading on today. Get some feeling cards um, to see kind of where you stand with the situation. And then I won't be using tarot. I'm gonna be using regular, ooh, we got the joker at the bottom, like that. Regular uh, playing cards. And I totally didn't forget I had them, but I hadn't used them in so long because these were the first cards I ever started reading on. Because I always heard that like, you had to have somebody else buy you your first deck. And so I wasn't buying myself a first deck, but I wanted to learn how to read. So I started learning with these. And then my mom got me an oracle deck and I was like, okay, I think I could get myself a tarot deck now. Um, but I was playing with them last night and I forgot, like I just feels a little more natural almost. Like it's like riding a bike with these cards. They just made more sense. So I'm gonna use them for you today. Um, I did shuffle a song from my Discover Weekly. So I don't know this song, but it's called 2007 by you love her um let me play i played the first two seconds i'll play the first two seconds because i heard it i was like this is such a libra thing but I'm like that was cool um but yeah 2007 by you love her is going to be your song today you love her because she's dead because she's dead so and everything she meant was in your head was in your head hmm so this could be about a person or just a situation where um, you wanted something because you couldn't have it, um, which is a pretty, you know, we know a common thing to want something you can't have or want it because you have it as soon as you can have it or want it because you can't have it and then as soon as you can't have it, you don't want it. But we'll see what this is about, Libra. I already shuffled the cards, so let's get going. We'll start with the group or I call. Oh my god, it's already so hot. I think it's supposed to be like 107 today. Fuck. I was gonna wear a t-shirt, but I sweat too much for that. I could wear a tank top and a loose button down. Ooh. And let's get one more. Let's get one more. I guess two more. Okay something totally about like feeling unprepared right because we have unable to find a restroom searching unsuccessfully for a restroom is a sign you're feeling frustrated or blocked in in some way in waking life so feeling blocked by something especially with the um well we have being unprepared and we have transport so maybe there you feel like there's like um a, a move whether it's physical or just like this transition transformation within yourself that you feel you're not ready for and then we also have um actor slash celebrity when a celebrity or actor or even a historical figure appears in a dream the significance may lie in what they're famous for their personality or behavior or the way they project themselves to others so there could be you projecting yourself in a specific way to others maybe it's that you are prepared um, or maybe you look, there's a specific person you look up to that's kind of like, not necessarily what you want to be more like, but there's something that they, like there's something they have that you feel like you can't have, so you want it all the more. But, we'll get more on this. We'll see how you're generally feeling before we pull the, uh, the tarot cards. Hmm. Oh, okay, sadness. I just I'm thinking about the song. Let's see if there's But I never knew they'd force me to pay such a heavy price. This is making me think back to the celebrity. So maybe there's something 
oh maybe there's something that like you always felt like you wanted but you couldn't have and now there's like this opportunity to have it but um like yeah it comes with a price or there's something specific that you need to have or give um or you know exchange for this that you feel like you don't have or it's just something that's not ready like say you have to there's a you know position you want you have to write some sort of like proposal but you feel like you don't like you just you can't do it like you feel like oh like i suck at writing so like you you know something like that for example let's get a couple more cards but there's sadness death oh, totally transition right and then flow so this deck doesn't do reversals but flow did come out reversed so i'm going to read it as reverse it doesn't but like it, it feels like there's there's a block i mean like this whole thing there's a block in your life there's something like a dam blocking the flow right and that could be like maybe with the sadness and then the flow here like there may be like Maybe not necessarily, kind of like repressed emotions. Um, especially if you're wanting to, you know, appear a certain way to other people. Let's get one more card. Blue is a key color here. Blue, yellow, specifically mustard yellow. Oh, and then ghost here. With trust at the bottom. So maybe you feel like you don't trust yourself here. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, because a blue, and then every single card is like, because I also have the falling, like teeth falling out card at the bottom of the deck here, which is, it says fear of aging or feeling unattractive or unappealing. Um, I also feel like it's, um, it says also you feel like you can't nourish yourself. The Tooth Fairy Association links this dream with money too, so there may be a reference to financial concerns. It may suggest you're feeling neglected, frustrated, overlooked, or inferior in some way. Maybe there are basic actions you are or want to take but can't because you're ill-equipped. Yeah, exactly. You need to have more belief in yourself and be more assertive. Hmm, it's also worth noting, okay, and this is the thing that I've always, um, heard about teeth falling out dreams it's also worth noting that in chinese tradition teeth crumbling or falling out is associated with telling lies or not being true to yourself um so yeah there's that but anyways i was talking about the yellow because like this card is yellow this little guy's wearing this yellow she's got this yellow this is posted up in the corner there he's wearing yellow and then i see this yellow bug here all right so yellow blue which are um, opposite colors as well. So maybe, maybe you could check out the Aries reading. I don't remember what the Aries reading was about, but there might be something in there for you since it is the opposing sign to Libra. Ghost here. There could be some form of dissociation going on, but um, again, we'll pour, pull more cards to get a little more here. So let's just get a, little, a few more cards to see what exactly is going on. What is this unpreparedness referring to? Mm -hmm. Joker. So these cards, it's hard to read them reversed because you know how they are. Um, but this one did come out reversed and there are two joker cards in this deck one of them is colorful like you saw at the beginning and then there's this one and this one's it makes me think of that like that even though it's reversed even if it wasn't i would read it more as uh the pool reversed right like this de deck i don't have major arcana it's just the joker and, but um it's like that new thing that leap of faith you could take but you do feel ill prepared ill prepared Maybe you feel like doing this, um, taking this leap would be a stupid risk or it's just something that you, again, don't, hmm, 
don't feel like you're ready for it. I was looking back at this song. There's another lyric. I, I'm just looking at the lyrics for this. Um, I've been searching for, we've been searching for, I've been searching for a life. And I was looking at searching for like this, they're searching for. And like usually using the restroom is like a uh, release, right? Like you need to, you do need to release some emotions here. Um, and that doesn't mean you have to necessarily re have to release them to just anybody or everybody. Um, starting with yourself is uh, going to be key here. But yeah, it's like this thing you've been searching for forever and now it's kind of like it's here, but you're like, oh, I'm not actually ready. I'm not actually ready for it. Right? As you can see, I got the daylight today. It's actually, um, well, it's at noon and I think it just turned 12, but it's morning, so I'm drinking coffee instead of my other little drinks. The Libra, you got some, ooh, because I was thinking even beforehand for this reading, I was like, oh, maybe Libra, like, they either have the sunshine in their lives right now or they need the sunshine. And then we have this came out, so it's like you guys need some sunshine and I could put the yellow here yeah like you know day and night um it's like you don't it's like you're in this period um you're in your night period so you can't have one without the other so the sun will come up but you just have to remember that you have to believe in that and maybe you're like presenting like you're let's say there's like you know a nighttime energy and daytime energy and you're presenting as like daytime energy you know very very libra um but you're feeling more of like this nighttime energy you are like kind of swimming through your subconscious right now but you're pretending like you're not and maybe the fact that you're pretending like you're not acknowledging this like you are i don't know it's like you're the thing that's blocking your flow right now this this pretending is the thing that's blocking your flow right now Like you're, like you're in this play that you wrote, but you wrote in this like scene that you didn't even want in, and now you're in that scene, and you could have just, you could at any time just not, you could choose not to have it, or you could just, you know, stop doing the play and then, you know, tell the audience like, this didn't go the way it was supposed to. It was supposed to be like this. It was going to be awesome, but didn't. And I don't know. Got the nine of diamonds, which does represent the pentacles, and the five of clubs, which is wands, right? Nine of pentacles, five of wands. And I do also like kind of compare like the black and white cards because. The diamonds and the hearts are the pentacles and the cups, earth and water, which are, you know, like the water earth signs are the twin signs. And then same with the, you know, the clubs and the spades, the fire and the air. So I do kind of see that as almost like they're not opposing, but with this deck, I do kind of see it like opposing. Anyways, so it's like you have... Whatever it is that you think you don't have, it's like you do have it, but you're like fighting with yourself about this. It's like you're, I don't know, like you're talking down to yourself or like you're trying to convince yourself you're not ready for something. And the truth is, is that you are ready for it or you do have what you need. You're just too scared to take the leap for it. So you're coming up with these little excuses for yourself like, oh, I don't have this or oh, I'm too sad or oh, this, oh, that. When honestly, I'm just going to be real with you, Libra. It's a kind of a bunch of BS. Like, you have what you need. You're ready for this. You just, it's like you're choosing to not walk into your dream. Yeah, you're choosing, like, if you have this play that you knew was going to be great. It's like you're choosing to do something that will make it not great. And... It's like there's not even anybody else telling you to. Or maybe there is like a couple people who are telling you like, oh, well, you need this scene. Or, oh, this place sucks. You might as well just throw it out. But they're not anybody who 
like matters or anybody who can who has a hand or could have a hand in this at all it's just like a couple of you know just a couple of chickens clucking but they're not saying anything of importance but again it's like you're just you could be using that like it's something that doesn't actually bother you doesn't actually upset you but you're like trying to make it upset you or pretend like it upsets you I don't know, it's just like you're using these little things that you know have no effect, but you're pretending like they have an effect. So you don't go for your dream. I don't know. Anything else for what's going on here? Oh my god, I hate when these fall on the ground. Oh yeah, the six of clubs, this is definitely like... I'm gonna get one more card with this. Because I feel like a self-esteem issue. Which it could be a self-esteem, but let's double check. Because I don't know if... Hmm. Do you have low self-esteem about this? Or are you, again, just using this as a... Like, why is Libra not doing this? Why is Libra pretending like they can't do this? Seven of Pentacles... The nine of spades. I don't know, maybe if you feel like it's something you've tried before. Yeah, with the five of spades, it's something you've tried before. And like maybe you previously failed at it or you felt like you failed at it. So you quit on it. Like this is something that's already, I don't know, been open for you to approach before. Anything else on this? I don't know. I feel like in the... Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> it came out. Um, I don't know. It's like 10-10 here. Something you gave up on previously. Oh, 10-10 and 8-8. Eight, eight. I've been seeing like, like doubles with the numbers so much. Like in the past couple days, it's been crazy like especially when i'm pulling cards there'll be like at least two or three last night i got like all four fours out so that was crazy but um yeah where they get like repetitive like this is something that's which is interesting like you feel like you've fell up at it before you quit on it before and you're like coming back around to it but you're still and i don't even feel like it's like oh I couldn't do this before so I can't do it now I don't think it's like that I think if anything this would be something where like oh I couldn't do this before and I know why I couldn't do it and now that thing's been like worked through but I'm still there's still some reason that I'm using to not fully go into this I don't know it's like you want to you attempt before and when it didn't work out, it upset you. And so maybe you like kind of left it for a while and you like left and then got prepared. Like if there was something you didn't have, you went out and you got it. And now you have it. This thing's coming back around. And you're still like, you know, the queen of hearts here. It's definitely like a, fe like a feeling thing. Like there's some sort of emotion, whether it's just sadness, but... It's like you need to like look to the sun but you also need to acknowledge the moon like you were in the night or like you are in the night and you're not even looking for the moon and like even the moon is reflecting sunlight but you're like no you know even though the moon's out the moon is out like the night is the night and like you're seeing the night it's like oh my gosh i just realized this is like night right but and it's like the nighttime isn't a bad thing it's not a negative thing you know the subconscious isn't bad the shadow isn't you know like you know this it's like bad but really it's just like it could be like 
taboo. It's just, it's something else that needs to be, you know, integrated in yourself anyways. But it's like you're in this night and you're like saying that it's bad. And, and you're just doing that so like you could continue holding yourself in this negative space. Um, but we got the Queen of Hearts with the Eight of Hearts. It's like the Queen of Cups with the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> It's like there's a specific feeling that you're choosing to sit in. And even if the feeling isn't coming naturally, like sadness, sadness, for example, you know, say you're not, you're not like feeling sad, right? Like you don't feel, feel it. I don't know. But then you try to like, but you want to be sad. So then you play like sad music and it's not even in the way where it's like, you're trying to get like this release which you know if you're gonna do that you should be trying to get release right but it's like it's more you just want to hold yourself in this negative type energy and it's just you know it's something that you're just doing it out of fear i mean like not just doing it but it's a fear-based action why okay so yeah let's I don't know, it's like this fear of being happy. Why doesn't Libra want the sun? Two of diamonds, two pentacles. There's another ten, okay. Yeah, there's a ten of clubs here too. It's like you're... It's, so ultimately we do want balance of everything, right? Um, like with the 10, 10, the 10 cups and the 10 wands, like it would be a balance of like pure happiness, but also responsibility, you know, not burden, just responsibility if we have this balanced here. But I don't know if it's, ooh, Maybe it's that you so, so badly don't want to be in this night time period or you so badly don't want to feel like you have stuff weighing you down. You don't want the emotional baggage. You don't want to feel bad so, so bad that you're like making yourself feel bad because you don't trust that you can not feel bad, that you can have this thing. And maybe this thing is really just happiness, you know, or feeling better. It could be something, you know, larger, like I was talking about, like a job or um, even a relationship doesn't really seem necessarily, but could be, could be. It could also just be like feeling happy and feeling good. Um, and yeah, you want it so bad, you feel like you can't have it, so you're like fully leaning into the state of not having it. When you could have it, you're just, you're really choosing, and it's, I feel like if you, your like spirit team would be watching you like so incredibly frustrated with you right now because like the thing that you want is like right here and all you have to do is just grab it like you you know your arms long long enough to reach it you got the grip to pull it in you have you know the little place ready for you to set it on like everything's all good all good to go already ready for you but you're just like so I'm like, oh, but what if I can't have it? But you can, but you can. Ooh, and there is the Joker again, all colorful this time. See, it's like you really can have it. It's I swear, it's like the only thing that's stopping you here is you wanting to be. It's like the the color, right? It's like you can have the color back into your life. Like you're feeling like you're just in this kind of dull space. 
but you can you can even color it in right I don't know it's like it's there for you it's there ready for you waiting for you and you're just not grabbing at it okay I'm gonna pull a little advice even though it sounds like really the advice here is to just Get your head out of your ass a little bit on your front. I mean, like... I know, I, mean, I, I don't know, like, you're a leaper, like... Balance is, like, a, you know, inherently a significant thing in your life. You know, whether you're Libra Sun, Moon Rising, Chart Ruler Libra... You know any Libra placement that strongly resonates or if you're just feeling in Libra energy that balance is so important and it's like it's just you're resist being resistant to you to like the energy that is you I don't know again it's just like you just want something so bad you think you can't have it so you're just not even gonna don't even want to bother you just need to have a little bit of confidence in yourself here let's get some advice let's get some advice for later i was just thinking about my my dad is a libra a libra stellium um it's funny because i'm a Taurus sun moon rising and he's a libra sun moon rising but uh He's very, very Libra. He's got this tattoo um, that means like balanced life. I'm like, yes. you're such a fucking. <laughs> oh, there's the fool. Yeah, you need to like take this leap of faith and like. It's like, oh, I wish I just thought of um, the Wizard of Oz. Uh, the one with, is it Judy Garland? Um, you know, where it starts off black and white and then she goes to Oz and it's of color. It's like, it's that, it's going from this black and white to the color, it's going from like, it's diving into your dreams, really, into like this fantasy world, but it's not, like it's a fantasy that could be, is a reality. Sorry, I'm like watching the time because in like 10 minutes I gotta get up and go. That's why I got ready beforehand. Any other advice for Libra before we close this out? I'll probably shuffle another song for you. I'm gonna have to listen to this 2007 song because it did sound, the first two seconds did sound pretty cool. There's a 10 of Wands and Two of Pentacles again. I don't know, I feel like whatever this burden that you're carrying this weight that you're carrying that you're like struggling to carry you don't you can literally just drop it like you don't have to carry this it's like you know you go from this black and white to this colorful world but maybe to go to this to the color you need to drop you know the black and the white um or yeah or I don't know, maybe it's like you have the black and white and maybe there's gray and it's like you don't need to bring the gray in, but you think you have to have the gray with the black and white, but black and white can make gray, so you don't need to also take the gray. I don't know. It's like you have everything you need, you don't need to carry, oh. You don't need to bring over this extra garbage. You know, these negative feelings. And it's like negative feelings. You know, no feeling. I mean, they feel negative. But a feeling is just a feeling. And there's no, like, inherently wrong. There's no wrong feelings. Um, but, like, you're just. It's like, it's okay to feel bad. And, you know, but you're just abusing the negative feelings. It's like you're beating a dead horse and you were beating the fuck out of it. Okay, the five of wands, the king of wands, 
I did not get swords. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's like you're telling yourself these lies almost. I mean, I got the seven of spades here with the nine of spades directly under it. I don't know. I just feel like there is this. I don't know. Even with the nine of, nine of king of um, wands, it's like. Don't be arrogant about this. Like it's getting to that point. Where like you're holding on so tightly to like this thing that's just you don't need. Um, that's bringing you down that you're just letting you bring. It's like, you know, there's an anchor falling to the bottom of the ocean and you're holding on to the anchor. So you're going down. But like if you were to just let go of it, you would, you know, pull back up to the surface. That's like really what it is here. It's like you're just choosing to go further down and down. And not in like the self-discovery type way, in the like, you know, keeping yourself down in the dumps kind of way. I don't know, whatever this thing is, you need to just let it, let it go. You know what, let me pull the oracle card for you, like, um, which one should I grab? Which one should I grab? Do I have? Ooh, I'm gonna, mm, no, I'm not, I can't. Um, hi Rex, my bigger jacket's on the ground for you. Um, oh my god. I'm gonna get a miss, oh my god. One of these little animal messages for you, cosmic creatures. Oh. Huh. I'm cutting the time close, guys. I'm cutting the time really close. I'm not even gonna have time to put all this stuff away. Sweating. Sweating. I don't know, maybe like you're getting to this point where like, um, so you're holding yourself in this energy so long that it's getting to this point where you feel the need to rush now. And like the longer you wait, the more you're going to feel like that. Um, and then if you feel like you have to rush, maybe you won't want to. I don't know. Because I know like you want to do things like the right way. But you have to do them first. Let's get a little animal message for Libras here. Just one. And then we will wrap this up. The octopus. Look how cool. Look at his eyes. Look at those both warm and cool colors. Like the day and night integrated to one. Let's get octopus. Oh, no. To remember where O is in the alphabet. Uh, priorities multitasker disguise. What was I now? All right, an incredible multitasker. The octopus has eight arms, nine brains, and three hearts, and is able to juggle an assortment of activities as it moves through life. The octopus gives you the power of managing your time with balance, ease, and confidence. With eight limbs, the number of abundance, the octopus can open up a portal for prosperity, welcoming you into the infinite spiral of the eight. When you have your hands full, trust that you have enough time to handle it all. And if you don't, I was just talking about the the rushing thing too um and if you don't ask yourself what needs to be prioritized decide what is worthy of your attention as what you focus on will grow you know if you're focusing on this like negative energy that's what's you know going to be growing as i'm sure you've probably noticed by now a master of disguise the octopus can easily camouflage itself and in, in its environment by changing the color of its skin and contorting its body into different shapes the octopus can help you go incognito, protecting your ideas until you're ready to reveal them in all their glory. Glory. Okay, yeah, so back to where I was talking about, like, you know, you presenting as one way, 
um, if you're going to present a different way than you feel, do it in a way that's beneficial to you. And like, you know, in um, like in a genuinely beneficial, not just like, oh, everybody's gonna think I'm like so perfect and great, you know? No, more like, you know, if you need to protect something, um, or just yourself, but I don't know if you're gonna be like have a disguise, do it like for the right way, the right reason. You know, you don't want to put on some sort of disguise that's going to draw more like negative attention to you, you know. Which I mean, I only say I just I know some neighbors who will totally behave in a certain way that's not necessarily true to the to who they are um because i you know don't necessarily want to reveal like you know what they're exactly doing or what they're thinking you know there's some things that they just prefer to keep private or like it's not anybody else's business but then the way they present themselves is like a fucking asshole i <laughs> know no offense but that's the thing is that they're like you know you're not and so you can you know just instead choose to present yourself as somebody who's just honestly busy with something you don't have to say what you don't have to be a jerk to everybody you know because you're trying to protect yourself okay libra all right my time is up our time is up i hopefully i'll get this posted today um right before it's july 21st so hopefully this should get out right before Lib libra leo season starts so i hope you have a good one and i will see you guys in the next reading